welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. I'm not sure about this makeup I put on today. I was trying out some new stuff and I'm like, just gonna have to go with it. I'm not sure how to title the video or how to even explain what it is yet, but I have 10 products here in front of me from 10 brands that I only own the one item from. So I'm just gonna go through them with you and tell you why I bought it, do I like it, what else I wanna try from the brand, if anything, all that kind of stuff. So let's start out with the lip thing because I really wanna put some stuff on my lips. I actually have two lip products here. This is a gloss from Tower 28. It is the shade Shine On. I think that's the shade, I don't know if it's called the Shine On gloss or if that's the shade, but this is the little gloss here. Here's a little better look at it. I don't even know where I got this, but this must have been in some sort of Sephora Favorites set. I don't even know if I tried this, to be honest. Wait, I must have, because there's like a little bit of color on it. This reminds me of the Glossier Gloss. I don't know if they still make that gloss, but it's just a very, I hate to say generic, but just a very basic gloss. There's no real thickness, there's no thinness, it's right in between, it's good. I don't think anyone would buy this and think, ugh, I hate that gloss. It feels good, it looks good, it's fine, but I never ever reach for it and I honestly forgot I even owned it until I was looking for these other products and I thought, Tower 28, I didn't think I owned anything from them. And oddly enough, when I was at Sephora recently, I was looking at the Tower 28 section and I wanted the bronzer so bad. It's called Bronzino, which is like the best name ever. I wanted it so freaking bad, but I didn't buy it. And then I was like, oh my God, I want the blushes too. Didn't buy them. But I still have this one little gloss here and it's the only thing I own. If you've tried some stuff from Tower 28, let me know what you like because I want to try some more from them or try some stuff from them, but I want that bronzer so bad. And the other lip thing, I actually wanted to put this on and I didn't. It's from Armani and it is the Lip Power in the shade 104. This is a little size here that I got in um, the advent calendar, the Sephora advent calendar. And I kind of love this. I wanted to throw this in my bag just to reapply throughout the day and I completely forgot. So when I first saw it, it looks like a lipstick and it also looks matte. Like it looks like a matte lipstick. And I was like, oh, I'm not a big lipstick person, but if I were to wear lipstick, like, hmm, this shade looks really good and very similar to my lip color. And then I put it on and I was like, oh yes, this might be my lipstick. Look at that tone. It's just so barely there and nice and it's so similar to my lip color. I think I'm gonna put this on just so you could see it. See it in its full glory. Mmm. And you know that gloss of Tower 28 is really smooth. It's not sticky at all or thick. Like I said, it's very just basic, but there's always room for a basic, a basic B in our collections, you know? Um, what I wasn't expecting from this Armani lipstick is how balmy it is. It's so glossy. Mmm. Glossy and smooth. It looks so similar to my lip color, but with like a little bit of pinky rosiness to it. I like it. I think it feels really good on the lips. This is probably like $45 for this lipstick. I did put it on my wish list, on my loves list at Sephora, because I was like, if I were to have one lipstick, I think this might be it. I like it. Hmm. Wasn't expecting to. And I do really want to try the Armani Foundation. What's it called? The famous one? I already forgot what it's called. Um, and I was looking at it at Sephora again, and I was like, ugh. I just, I couldn't bring myself to buy it. But the lipstick though, I like it, but it is the only Armani thing that I own. And I do wanna buy some more. They had some good looking things in their line, but nothing that really drew me in. Like I saw the blushes and although they look beautiful and the packaging is really beautiful, I just couldn't picture myself falling in love with one of them and opening it every day and going, this is the best blush. I love when I get to use this. I just couldn't picture myself doing that with any of their products. But this is nice, it's nice and it's my only Armani item. Okay, another luxury brand. Let's move on from Armani and talk about Gucci. Um, I freaking love this though. This is the only Gucci item I currently own. It's their Glow Hydrating Mist, the Prep Set Refresh Mist. I did do a whole video review on this because I tested it in the prep way, the set way, and the refresh way. This is the ultimate refreshing spray. 
If you are someone who puts on your makeup really early in the day like I do, you work a whole work day, maybe you want to do something after work and you're like, oh, my makeup's looking kind of not so fresh, a little worn, this stuff will bring your face back to life. Shake it up because it has a little bit of a, a oiliness to it that sits on the top, so give it a good shake. It has a beautiful, beautiful mist. Let me spray a little on my face now. Maybe you could see the mist coming out. Mmm. It's so fine. You can feel it hitting your face. It's not that kind of, you know those really fine mists sometimes you can't even feel them hitting you and I'm like, am I even getting anything here? I let this sink in as is. I don't like to fan it down because I just feel like letting it sit there, it like, it does something. Like it works its magic on your face. Let it sit. It will revive your face. It'll give you a nice little healthy glow. It'll make your makeup look like you just put it on. It's so crazy. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I don't use it all the time. Like this is how much I've used right here. I had this in at work in my locker over the summer because it was just kind of a hot day and I thought my makeup was looking kind of uh, halfway through the day. Um, Cause our, you know, when you work in a store, you can't even tell the air conditioner is on most of the time. It's just hot and you're tacky, and you're touching your face, it's the whole thing. This would always make me look and feel so fresh and revived. It does have a scent, a nice, light, fresh scent. I don't think anybody would find the scent in this offensive, but it is there and you can notice that it has a fragrance, but I love it. But it just adds like the best little healthy glow to your skin and really revives your makeup and makes it look fresh. Love this a lot. I have tried a couple of other things from Gucci. Their mascara, I freaking love. I would love to repurchase that. And then I also tried one of their bronzers and I thought it was god awful. So luxury brands have their hits and misses too, but I would love to try some more from Gucci and I do want to repurchase that um, mascara. Okay, one more luxury brand. I mean, luxury, what even is that, you know? But a luxury brand at Sephora anyway is YSL. This is their Touche Club Blur Primer. And this is just the little guy, but this is the only thing I own from YSL. I have other things on my wish list, including the full size of this. And there are little eyeshadow quads that come in that beautiful little clutch packaging. They're pretty but boring and basic looking on the inside, but I still want one. I don't know, I just really want, I want to try a luxury eyeshadow formula that actually works. Because I find a lot of the time luxury brands put more into the packaging and the luxurious experience rather than the formulation. That's just been my experience of luxury stuff most of the time. But I love this primer. Uh, it's currently in Shop My Stash for March. I've used this last year as well in different Shop My Stashes. It's just a really good um, blurring, smoothing primer. The only downside to this thing is that it has gold flecks in it. And I know they only put the gold in there so you feel like you're putting gold on your face and they can justify the high price of this because the gold doesn't do anything. It's not beneficial. I don't think in any sort of way. It's the same way that fragrance is in products just to add to the user experience. It's not a beneficial ingredient in any sort of way. I think that's how gold is too. I think it's just there to enhance the user experience. But this leaves gold flecks on your face and you could see them all day long if you don't have something high coverage on. But it's a nice primer and I still really like it and I still want the full size. But this is the only YSL item that I own. But I have tried other YSL items in the past. I've tried their colorful mascara. I don't even remember the name of it now. I also tried the Touche Cla concealer thing. And I didn't really understand it. I didn't really get what it was supposed to do. But I like this. I like that a lot. So this next item is a luxurious item. It's from Patrick Ta and it is the fan. I use this every single day. This was one of my best purchases ever. And I don't remember what possessed me to buy this because it was $20 for a fan that I could have got at the Dollar Tree. But I love this fan. Every single day I pull it out from my little drawer and I'm like, where's my fan? To fan down my setting spray. I use it every single day. There was a period of time where I lost this. I had taken some makeup to work with me and I guess it fell out and I couldn't find it anywhere and it was under the seat in my car. So I was using a fan that I got from the arcade because it was the only other fan that I had. I guess I could have got a piece of paper or something, but there's nothing quite like this. I mean, it does have some makeup stains on it right here and I saw some here I could see in the light. There's a couple other makeup stains here. But it has held up, it has stood the test of time, it was under the seat in my car, it's always rolling around in this drawer here. I really like put this thing to work, it's been through the ringer and it's doing great. It has a little, you know, 
it's seen better days, but it's holding up really, really well. I love this thing. Um, and I have tried other things from Patrick Ta. I'm lying. I've only tried one thing. I bought a blush palette, one of the holiday blush palettes a couple years ago. I just didn't like it, but I want to try more from the brand. I want one of their new blush colors so bad, um, but I love the fan. Love it, love it, love it. The only thing, the only thing that kind of took me out of the luxurious experience of this fan and buying it and opening it and being like, wow, it's amazing, is the fact that it's made in China. And I have feelings about luxury brands that make their products in China, but sell them to you at the luxury price tag. I'm looking at you, Danessa Myricks. Um, I, I just I just feel funny about it. So yes, the, the fan was made in China. They sold it for $20, but the construction is really good and I love it and I don't regret buying it, but I, I, just, I just felt funny about it, you know? But it is the only thing I own from Patrick Ta. Moving on, Natasha Denona. Natasha, Natasha Denona. Uh, I only own one item from Natasha Denona and it's the Mini Sunset Palette. I have tried many items from this brand. I have bought face palettes, I've bought actual eyeshadow palettes, I've bought the little blush and highlighter duos. I've bought many items from the brand and I just don't get it. The products don't work for me, the eyeshadows don't blend. I just, I the brand is just not for me, you know? I do really wanna try their concealer though, like really, really bad. But uh, this is the only thing I've held on to and haven't sold or given away or put on Poshmark. Um, because I like it. Um, I, did, I have tried full-size palettes from this brand and I just don't get along with them, but this little mini worked really well for me. Um, I don't feel like it has held up over time, like this shade right here doesn't really work anymore, but the mattes in here are great and so are the shimmers. This little cranberry color though doesn't do much for me. But this is a brand that I don't really, like I'm not checking in on them to see what they're coming out with, but I do kind of hear about it because people I follow talk about the brand a lot. I do really want to try the concealer, but as far as powder products and everything else they have, it's just not for me. Just not for me. But this is the one thing I've decided to hang on to. Okay, next up, Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury. I have tried other items from Charlotte Tilbury over the years. I used to have one of the Cheek Pop blushers. Don't have it anymore. I had a big old highlight that they came out with Holiday one time, uh, like a superstar highlight or something. I just found it was a little too dark for my skin tone. Don't have it anymore. I tried the Air Airbrush Flawless Filter stuff. It, it didn't. It didn't fall in love with it. I've tried the pressed powder. wasn't my favorite. And I do like to try things, but I also want to like things. But sometimes stuff just doesn't work. But this palette, I use it on a regular basis. It is the instant look in a palette in the shade Beauty Glow. Um, I know the brand comes out with these palettes every now and then in different colorways, and they kind of discontinue them though. So I don't know if this one's still available, but this one worked really well for me. I did always wish that that bronzer contour shade was a little more intense. Like it's super cool tone, like look at it. But they have it labeled here as bronze. So I know that's what the intention was, but the eyeshadows are really beautiful. The blush colors are beautiful. The highlight never really was my favorite kind of formula. The bronzer I do like, but like I said, I wish it was in a different color, a little bit darker, um, but I like it. And I take this with me all the time to work if I'm running late and I need to put on something at work. I know I got all my little face steps in here I can pull off. Something that I'll feel good about uh, working in for the whole day, but I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I do want to try a couple other things from the brand. I really want to try the eyeliners for some reason. I really want to try the eyeliner and I really want to try the setting spray. Every single time I'm at Sephora or I'm just scrolling online, I want to buy it, but for some reason I can't bring myself to do it. But once I finish up my setting sprays because I'm working through them, I want to buy that one. I want to buy it so bad. But if you have other items from the brand that you've tried, let me know what you like. Um, I've tried some stuff over the years, but nothing's really like hooked me in and made me want to keep coming back to the brand. <gasps> I'm lying. I have another thing from Charlotte Tilbury. It just dawned on me. Let me double check though that I didn't put it on Poshmark. Hold on. Hmm. I could swear I had the Glowgasm palette. I don't know if I sold it on Poshmark already, but I'll have to double check here to see if I found it. And if I did, I'll put something here saying I found it. But as far as I remember, this is the only thing I own. Okay, we got three more left. Next up is Makeup by Mario. I only own one item. 
and it's the eyeliner. This is the Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the shade Super Black. I did take the lid off of the other side because it drove me up the wall to open this eyeliner whenever I wanted to use it and I would pull out the side that had the brush on it. This brush does literally nothing. It's too long, it's too flimsy, it's not really good at smudging because it's just... They could have done without it and just put a sharpener or something there. But anyway, I took the lid off because the other side has the pencil and opening this side drove me crazy. But the pencil is super black, just like the name suggests. It is black, 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 black. It's very creamy, it's very smooth, it's very easy to kind of get out of control with the pencil. So when I'm putting it on my waterline, I have to go really slow because before you know it, I'm gonna be like, ah, what happened? But it's really good, it lasts all day long, and it was the only item that I've tried from the brand that I really, really loved, and I've tried a lot. I bought one of the blushes, eh. I bought one of the highlighters, eh. I bought the Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette when it came out, like the day it was on Sephora's website, I bought it. I even paid someone to do same day delivery because I was so excited for it. I didn't like it at all, I ended up returning it. I just didn't love the formula. The matte shades I found were very difficult to blend. The little glitter toppers in there were a freaking mess. I just could not get on board with the palette. Um, when the brand first went to Sephora too, I also bought a couple of things. I bought the little glossy luminizer stuff, I didn't like it. And I bought, did I buy another eyeshadow palette? I'm pretty sure I did. Didn't like that either. This has been the only thing I've really, really loved from the brand. But they have a, set, a skin enhancer thing. Is it called Sensual Skin Enhancer? Is that Kevin Aqua? I think I'm, I think I'm combining the wrong thing. But they have a skin thing. It looks like a bronzer. Do you know what I'm talking about? I want to try that. But so far, this has been the only thing I've really loved from the brand. And then the next two are two brands I've only tried this one thing from. I haven't tried anything else. First up is Refai. I got this in the Sephora Advent Calendar this past Christmas, and this is their Brow Sculpt in the shade Clear, and it's just a brow gel. Um, I have tried this several times. I actually have it in this brow today. I know it's kind of weird. I only use it on one side, but I kind of I wanted to compare this to the Soap and Glory Brow Lamination Wax that I'm really loving right now because I feel like it's very very similar. It looks white, but it does dry clear. Like I said, I have it in this brow right now and you wouldn't be able to tell I put on a white brow gel. It holds really well. Um, if you overdo it, it will feel like it's drying down and pasting the brows to your face. But if you go really lightly with it, it's quite nice. Um, I don't know, I feel like I go back and forth with this. Like I like the, the Soap and Glory one better and now I'm like, this one's pretty good too. But it's the only thing I've ever tried from the brand. But I think they're coming out with like a weirdo freakazoid mascara that I really want to try. It's got this weird wand. Gotta try it, it's on my list. And then the last thing is from House Labs. This is the Triclone Concealer. This is the only thing I've actually tried from the brand. And I'm glad they rebranded and got away from Amazon because I don't know what they were doing launching exclusively on Amazon and all the products were like, what are you doing? Anyway, that's a whole other thing. They relaunched, they're at Sephora, they're super popular. I'm sure the brand is doing really, really well. But uh, the concealer is the only thing I've tried. I do really wanna try one of the blushes, one of the highlighters, the bronzer. I want to try the foundation. I wanna try everything from this brand because it just looked really good. When I was at Sephora, I was touching everything and I was like, oh my God, all this stuff looks great. But this is the only thing I've tried so far. I've been wearing it pretty much exclusively on my under eyes and I really, really, really like it on the under eyes. It is a little on the thicker side and it's got a really interesting kind of wand or little applicator. A little on the thicker side but not in a bad way. It spreads really easily. It doesn't dry down really quickly. I have the shade, did I tell you? Not uh, 11, light neutral. I don't know if you can really see it, it's right there. Um, love this on the under eyes. I've tried it on the face here and there, but not too much. I really just really been loving it for my under eyes. Wears all day, doesn't crease, doesn't fade. It's great, but it's the only thing I've tried. 
And that's it. Those are 10 brands and 10 products where I only own the one thing from the brand. Let me know some brands you only own the one thing from or only really like one thing. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one and I will see you later in another video.